The intro. Here we go, don't you know, it's broadcasting to you. your community. Steven doesn't like it when I sing, but I'm going to do oh, it anyway, because he can't stop me. No, oh. no you're, you're producing the show. <laughs> I cannot mute your microphone, and I wouldn't really. Um, what is that Burroughs guy up to anyway? Why does Stephen Healy put up with him? Welcome to broadcasting to your community. <laughs> Uh, with Derry Burroughs in Sarnia in Canada and Stephen Healy in Wiltshire in England, where is a holiday? But what do you do on a holiday? You come and join your friend and broadcast live to the world on Facebook using BeLive.tv. So what is a bank holiday? Is that exactly what it is? The banks are closed? The, bank, the banks are closed. The majority of the shops are closed. So the shop workers have the day off. Two bank workers have the day off. But it's taken as a national holiday. Um, apart from sort of service industries, okay. um, I got a parcel from Amazon this morning. So Ooh. that's, but that's um, that's not typically it though. Um, yeah, it's just, I mean, basically in our own town of Devizes, there's a carnival been on today, uh, which we went to watch, and there was a superb uh, one man act. Uh, balancing and juggling act, and he did a show which was about 30 minutes long, and he attracted a crowd of about 100 people all around him oh. as he did his superhuman feats. It was, absolutely, it was very good. Yeah. Uh, so, Catherine Sears Lent says, Greetings, guys. Welcome, brilliant. Catherine. And uh, for those of you who are just joining and watching us, we got a full hour of We Have No Idea. Uh, but we are broadcasting, uh, talking about live streaming. Um, well, sometimes we talk about live streaming. We don't always we do. get into that. We just talk about community stuff. We do. Uh, we do. And connecting we our worlds do. together. Maybe Catherine's going to join us. If you're watching us up above my head, see where my horns are going? Uh, there's a link there. That's where you need to be watching from so that we can see your comments, your questions, your snarky remarks, whatever you're wanting to do, as long as it's polite and positive. Um, you, yeah. you can make fun of me, but I wouldn't make fun of Stephen. Um, and if you want to join us on camera, type guest in the comments below. I do have our live bot working today. In fact, I did something, Stephen, that I hadn't been making a practice of doing. I noticed. And, uh, because of uh, our, our five days live that we did, and, and a bunch yeah. of us talked about doing some things that maybe we're not doing. I sent out a broadcast. I saw it. To the subscribers. Yeah. What did you think? Did it pass? It passes, yeah. Hey there, you asked us to remind us when when broadcasting to your community with David and Stephen goes live on TVSN. Click watch now. And you'll be taken to the TVSN Facebook page where you can watch them live. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've got some subscribers there, about 53, I think. So yeah. it's been stagnant for a while because I haven't done anything to grow that. Um, let's talk about that for a minute. What are you using? I know you and RJ are really active in the bot world. Do you use a landing page to attract subscribers or what do you do to, to subscribe? To Basically, uh, when we do a show, uh, uh, after the show, we go back and contact anybody who's commented and uh, we send a message to them and they then confirm that they would like to be on the messenger service. So the primary uh, means of contact is through Facebook Messenger to the comments made on a live show. The secondary way is, as you say, to have a landing page which people can go to um, and give them a reason for going there. So if you're giving something away, that generally helps right. or a special deal. Um, basically, and sh shows like this attract an audience, attract people to join in, and uh, going live is the best thing you can do. Yeah. Right. I noticed uh, when I go to Facebook pages, uh -huh. and there was one in particular I did it to the other day, and you know when you go to a Facebook page, typically their messenger, the, 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 the Facebook messenger pops up automatically. Yeah. Um, but the one I went to the other day popped up automatically and it was their bot. Well, it, you can set it. RJ is the one to uh, actually be able to give the inside information. You can set it right. so it pops up with a bot. I mean, basically, if, you, if you've if got a bot on your page, then people shouldn't see just um, – should 
not should see a mess well a get started button yeah right and that's what initiates the conversation yeah so pages that don't have a get started button don't have a bot <laughs> and that's that's the that's the majority of pages what are you thinking uh no i i was listening but i was distracted because i went over to the facebook page and the thumbnail is uh, you with your your fingers are about here, so you look like you have horns, and then my hands are a little <laughs> higher up, and I look like I'm going yay. So <laughs> it's oh, we're playing reindeer, um. <laughs> right, guys. Yeah, so I, that's, I, that's something I have to work on because uh, I, I've sort of swayed away from the. I didn't sway away from the bot thing. I just haven't done anything about it, and I'm seeing more and more of it around. Even, and I'm just like, okay, that's that's a part of my business that I've not paid enough attention to. So, um, you know, I think that's something that we often do in any business. We get in our chairs and we, we sit down yeah. and we sit up straight and then we start to we start, start to slouch a little bit after a while and we get kind of into a routine and things, yeah. stay, they can get stale, right? Yeah, true, true. You, I mean, you can't do everything. We know that you can't be present everywhere. So you make choices and you go to the places where you're getting most interaction and the most interaction is on Facebook. So you concentrate on Facebook and yeah. therefore you forget about YouTube. You forget about your web blog. Um, you forget about a whole list of things, including Twitter and et cetera. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, uh, I have a, a blog and uh, I started yeah. it. I started it five years ago. But I didn't do anything between February and July of this year. Oh, there you have a photograph of it. Well, isn't that does. good? Right. Well, I'm screen sharing. Brilliant. Okay. There it is. Uh, and I blog there. And uh, generally speaking, I get about 300 people a day actually visit. Nice. But that's I've done for that from zero in July. I had nobody for six months. And then I started to blog and basically uh, inside track here is I purchased simple social press from Animura. Yeah. Okay. That's the biggest benefit to the website that has ever been because every time a show is finished, yeah, it creates a post. So five days a week, Monday through Friday, I've got five post posts being created just by the fact that I go live. Yeah. Okay. And that means, but this one was handwritten. This particular post was handwritten. Um, you'll see below if you scroll down a little bit. Um, in fact, if you can you just refresh the page, just to humor me a moment. Sure. Brilliant. Um, when the page refreshes in a second or two, you should see uh, on the right hand side of the screen on that uh, grid. Um, okay, and the right-hand side of the screen on that grid, okay, perhaps not. Uh, we should be there, but never mind. Right, okay. Basically, this is a uh, web blog containing all the shows that are ever broadcast on the live video hub. Now, there are over a 1,050 shows, and you can go to any show. Would you come down to um cheryl for example right there yeah and click on play that's it and you get cheryl on screen and you can watch the show and you can share the show oh, um cool. and you click on any of the the broadcasts and you can actually uh, not only watch the show you can share it which helps everybody. So that's Stephen, the I, I, I look at all these shows and like I see your face in almost all of them. No, you don't. Did you like plan that? No, you, just <laughs> come, come, come down a bit. You sit, I'm on there twice at the bottom of the, the photographs. There is, there is just to prove it's not all me. Well, I don't know. Right okay, okay let's do it. Stephen Healy count. Let's, One, no, let's, let's, let's press click more, shall we? Two. <laughs> <laughs> press click more you you yeah. see me for a, a minute or two no i got i got but, a whole hour i'll do it all right that's <laughs> <laughs> right okay 
and you can see i'm not i'm not in every single show there Ten, you go but lot, lots of people are <laughs> and they're all broadcasting on the live video hub and on the on tvsn as well and on the other networks that our friends have set up but the yeah, beauty of it is if you click oh on, there's oh there's one of my shows there's two okay, my shows. Click, click on it click on it well click, like click the play button there you are and it will play and there you are All right so with that without actually leaving that page you can actually play it and you can go if you go back again on any of the posts or another one of yours it is similar okay yeah you're actually watching the show so you really you've created a a, a directory um i mean this is this is very random it's but, basically it's, it's not it's actually it is in date order if you go to the top again oh it is okay yeah right okay uh that's, oh, Monday, a August 27th. that's a video i did today and then next to you you've got erin and rj that's a video from today and the video next to that is from today yeah you can read this all the must be different this. time zones because it's saying 2 p.m and i'm not at 2 p.m yet mm -hmm. Or is that what's coming up? That's what is no. Th those those shows have taken place. Okay. Anyone which is which is grayed out, if you go to the first gray one, mm -hmm. that's the show which is coming up. It's actually oh, oh okay. Uh, it's been cross posted. All the gray ones have been cross posted to the hub, but haven't gone live yet. And at the moment, there's about ten or eleven shows which will go live either today or tomorrow. Okay, all right. So this one here says right. Monday, August twenty seventh at two p.m. Yeah, that's obviously a different time zone. Yeah, yeah. So it's my page. It, it's my page, so it's, it's UK. It's, oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Click, so, click. When it, so that was. I was just going to say. So when it posts, it posts to the time zone that that person's. Yeah. yeah. In. Okay. All right. Okay. Click. Click on the first gray one. And press play. All right, and you should have an option somewhere. This won't work because we're live. Uh, to go to <laughs> to Facebook and get a reminder. Oh, I okay. like to click on the, the link. Yeah. And you click on the link and you can then set a reminder because the yeah. show is not live yet. It is. Well, this one is because it's us. All right. Okay. <laughs> there I'm you sure. go. Press, just just to prove. No, press play on that. Press play. I'll pick a different one. Okay. Oh, that's the show live. Oh, that's my show today. Later. Yeah. This week's guests. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, view on Facebook. Yeah, that's it. So you can view on Facebook, and if the show's coming up, you can actually set a reminder. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yep. Get a reminder. Yeah. So you're actually going on one page. We've got a thousand videos, all the upcoming shows, and you can either watch the recordings, or you can go and set a reminder for an upcoming show. That's it. Thank you, David. That was That's brilliant. That's fantastic. Question. Oh, my wife says hi, guys. Hi, honey. Hello, Jennifer. What is she doing? Oh, okay, she's on her lunch. There you go. My loyal fan and uh yeah catherine's asking what's this steven something social yeah well i think we just kind of explained all that um thanks everybody for watching if you're wanting to join us on camera we certainly invite you to do that type guest in the comments below and you will be sent a link to click and uh we'll bring you on camera you can talk to steve and i maybe my wife will actually do that someday i don't indeed indeed uh, uh, I've been I've uh, been convincing her and Stephen. I might have to uh, ask you for some muscle here. Uh, I've been trying to convince her uh, that she, with her new business she needs to go live. Totally, um, because she's doing eyelash extensions, and I was like, yeah. well, "That's the perfect thing for live." Well, um, you, it's either two thousand words or one picture. Well, you know, <laughs> um, and that that's the stark choice that if you have to describe something, you do a blog about it. Going live allows you to actually demonstrate and to actually show people exactly what it's like to take questions from them. And also, because you're doing it on your Facebook business page, this, this is a little known secret. Dave and I know it, but you can sell. And you can give people a link to go to, to your shop. And you can say, right, okay, for the next two hours, this item is not $10, it's $8. But you must 
buy in the next two hours. So in terms of marketing, live video is the best way to do it. And if people, we know, I, I watch with amazement sometimes. They're really well, three times. I'll probably go above three in a minute. One is shows by people who are well known, like Jeff Adams, he's always going to do well. And then the other ones are where people are actually, uh, and shows run by mediums. Yep. Yep. Horoscopes and all everything that mediums involves and et cetera. And the third type is sales shows where people are selling, okay, and they're selling uh, anything at all and people are actually buying and you can watch the comments when somebody puts up a special offer you watch the comments come through and you think how do they do that well they do that because they actually turn up consistently and they've got themselves a good reputation on ebay or wherever it happens to be so that they can say right okay i've got a 900 percent rate on ebay if you order now you know you're going to get the goods and uh, that's how it works yeah well, see, and for Jennifer, for example, she's uh, she's not really selling product, uh, at least not yet. Um, mm -hmm. So she does eyelashes, so she books appointments. Okay. So in my mind, she could be going, you know, even just from a phone, just get permission from the person she's working on and say, listen, we're just going to set the camera right there. And we're just yeah. going to go live. And you don't yeah. even, you know, she can't really be talking to the audience because she's really focused with a yeah. very sharp <laughs> thing okay. well, yeah, did, somebody's that, face. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that she couldn't do it and then go back after uh -huh. and answer any of the questions. She could be saying, you know, okay, guys, leave your questions. I'll get back to you when I'm done here. Yeah. We're doing this, and this is what I'm doing right now. And by the way, if within the next two hours that it takes me to do this person, uh, if you book an appointment with me, you get $10 off. Yeah, that's it. Right? So, yeah, uh, I, yeah I think there's great opportunity there. And people will watch. They just do. I mean, they watch me all the time and look at me. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I got to work on her. Though. Yeah, but here's the problem. She's camera shy. That's what it is, right? Um, well, there, there are, well, one of the best people to uh, talk to is a chap called David Burroughs, who was on the <laughs> show in, <laughs> in five days live. Uh, no. No, okay. because I'm the husband. Right. Okay. So the two, right, there, there, there are two people to talk to. <laughs> okay. I'm going to make two recommendations here. The first one is Brigitte Limbanda. There we go. Good friend of ours. And she is very personable and very helpful. And she will help you go live on camera for the first time. And the second person I can think of, and I'm staying. Uh, this time I'm in Ireland, and that's Lottie Hearn Ross, and Lottie's helped a lot of people yeah. go live. Yeah. yeah. Um, Kelly's out there saying hello to Kelly. Thanks for joining us, Kelly. And again, I know uh, Kelly's kind of hooked into the Be Live world because uh, from probably through me. And then he, I know he watches Blabbing for Britain. Sometimes. He, he does watch Blabbing for Britain. He also watches I Live Here, which is on at 9 a.m. tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern. And he and I got into conversation, a very long conversation uh, last Thursday uh, on Facebook Messenger. But the unfortunate thing was that I was I, I was all focused on doing a show. And I, I'd, I'd gone, I'll tell you about it in a minute, but I'd done something rather special, which I thought was special, which I haven't told many people about. But I was just finished that and I came off and started talking to, to, uh, to Kelly. And we were at cross purposes. He was talking about I live here, and uh, I was talking about something completely different. So ah. it, it took us about 15 minutes to realize we were at cross purposes, then we finally sorted it out. So Kelly and I are getting to know each other uh, by a messenger, and uh, it's great to uh, have Kelly supporting us on I live here and on Blubbing for Britain, which are, of course, the best of British. And that's a, that's a fantastic example of networking, right? Because Kelly lives in my city. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, so he's known me through what I do and then yeah. through me to you and now who knows where else that'll go, right? Yeah. So, I mean, there's just one more reason to live stream your business. Totally, totally. Uh, yeah. yeah. And I'm sorry that I, I missed it last week. I know you had asked me to uh, to try to join, uh, you know, I live yeah. here, but uh, it's, it's tomorrow again, right? 9 a.m. 
Eastern. Let me, let me check my schedule. I, I live here. <laughs> uh, Fonz is out and about on his iPhone 6, and he's visiting a place in Cambridgeshire in the UK. And if you have your mobile phone handy and you're up and out and about, then we invite you to come on the show for 10 to 15 minutes to talk about your area. And what we're trying to do is just travel the world, really. So it's travel the world with Fonz and Stephen and uh, 9 a.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. in the UK. All you need is a mobile phone. We'll give you the link and you're on camera. I will. Uh, I'll see. OK, give, that's good. Because I'd love to show you down here. Beautiful. Or maybe Kelly can do that, because uh, if Kelly's out what? in a boat down where our Blue Water Bridge bridge yeah. is and our yes. water and our parks. Yeah. Anyway, there's lots to brag about where I live for sure. That's a, that's such a great idea. And, and um, uh, I know we talked about that before, you know, and you've heard me mention before, you know, I interviewed a gentleman from a museum and he did a walkthrough of the entire yeah. museum. Uh, this last week we had what was called hobby fest mm -hmm. uh, set up in one of our parks, one of our beautiful parks, Jermaine park, the beautiful flowers and just is so well kept. And then the Strangway Center, which is like a community event center. Anyway, I interviewed uh, the uh, events coordinator for the city of Sarnia. And mm -hmm. one was in the building. And then the other girl from the city was out in the park, brought them both on. And she had her camera. And she's like, so, and over here is where we'll have people set up. And she showed the park. And it's just, uh, I'm, I know I'm going to do my best to, to uh, try to include that type of thing in my sh regular show yeah, uh, yeah. It, it's what, like a great idea it, we, it works so well uh, and people get involved because I mean the, the thing is that you're actually showing your own country now as countries go our country is pretty old um, so Fonz can go around because he is the Cambridge historian and he can give the history of places just as you can for Sonia so that's why it works because you, you it, we know that when you go on a show, um, you can wing it as we do. I mean, you just come on and we can talk about anything and everything for an hour and uh, enjoy doing so and take questions from everybody and comments yeah. and everything. But when you I do, yeah, sorry. No, I was just going to say, I find when, once, once you get people, one of my tricks or coaching things, whatever, as to uh, you can just get people talking about what they're passionate about and what their love is. Yeah. It's like talking about your kids or your grandkids. People can go on for hours because they love it so much, right? So it's once you get them talking about what they love and their passion is, it's not a problem to do an hour show. No, no, totally it's not. Totally it's not. And uh, right now, we're not going to push, but if anybody wants to join us on camera, then you're more than welcome to do so. Just type guest. <laughs> I've just got a sign from David, and the sign from David says, you're on screen, you're on your own, it's all yours, I'll be back. Um, and that was quick. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, if you want to join us on camera, just type guest, or if you've got the link already, then just click the link and come in. David will bring you into the show. As you've seen, <laughs> Dave and I are quite friendly and uh, we're here to answer your questions about anything at all. Um, we stay off one or two topics, or well, three topics, politics, religion and money. Apart from those, we talk about anything. Um, though occasionally we have opt over to the politics side because it's an interesting time in the UK. Because it's fun. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> politics is not fun. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I, Especially I, if you're the politician. Only for the politicians. <laughs> only for the politicians. Yeah. They, they never tell you what they're doing. They tell you what they're going to do. They tell you what they've achieved, but they never tell you what you're doing. They're doing at the moment. Well, I'll makes... tell you, we we have uh, a municipal election, so our local government. So uh, we're going to be electing our mayor and our excuse me, our councillors. Yeah. coming up uh in october and we have and i see catherine in the lobby there i'll come to you in a minute catherine okay. um i we have about 30 people running for we have council and county okay um, and um about 30 people running for as candidates i've never ever seen wow it's been a lot of turmoil in the last four years 
Um, I've never seen that many people run, and we have four running for mayor. We've got our current mayor, who has been the mayor for I, I want twenty six or tw- twenty eight years, maybe. Wow. He's, if if he wins again, he'll be the. I don't know if it'd be the longest running or second longest running mayor in Ontario. Wow. So there's a lot going on. And I was going to reach out and I don't do a lot of politics on my show. Um, but I was going to reach out to all the candidates and as a, as a thing go, you know, for X number of dollars, you can have your own half an hour or an hour in yeah. person or whatever that looks like. Uh Somebody else is doing something similar as well. That's more their, that's more their thing is politics. Mm-hmm. So I think I'm going to wait until okay. I see who's elected, and then I'll reach out to those ones and say, "Okay," because yeah. then I've only got about twelve to deal with instead of thirty. <laughs> 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 but uh, politics yeah. is is something new for me to. I mean, I have a lot of thoughts in my head about it, but I don't talk about it a lot. But uh, so I, and in doing that, I, I want to, I'm good at keeping myself neutral with it. Yeah. Nobody knows who I'm for or against. So, yeah. well, it's, it's strange how, how things differ in how often is your mayor? Does he, is he up for election? How long is his every, term? Every four years, every four years mm-hmm. in the UK, a mayor is elected every year, mm-hmm. different mayor, apolitical supposedly. Uh, to guide the town council in actually uh, working for the benefit of the citizens of the town. And, uh, but in France and Germany, they're elected for a four year period mm-hmm. and they have far more power than the mayors in the UK. Right. And we say hello to hello, Catherine. your show, David. Yeah. Catherine, yeah. how are you? Hi. Hello, Catherine. Nice to meet you. Yes, uh, Lindley. Now, our paths have crossed many times in, in, over recent weeks, and uh, you've been watching the shows and commenting, so I don't want to say, personally say thank you for doing that. And welcome to the world of live video. Now, have you, done live, have you done live video before? No. It's been fun watching and uh, participating in the comments. Uh, it's my new obsession. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I kind of came in right when you did the five days live, like like about a week or so before that. So that was just a great, like, you know, super lessons and like got your class. And so I'm really interested. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can. You, 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 video is good. Audio okay. is good. Yeah, so no. are, are the earmuffs are, are necessary. We, you see that Deb and I are wearing earbuds as opposed to, Yep. Yeah, I don't, have, I don't have earbuds. We have 500 pairs of Beat headphones. My husband works with Beats. Okay. Um, no, I, right. the, the reason you have, have headphones, headphones or, or earbuds, Catherine, if you don't already know, is to prevent echo. Yeah, I heard, I've heard that. but I, And I just sound weird with headphones on because, you know. You're yeah. hearing your own bass yeah. in your head. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird. So, Catherine, thanks for joining here on, on our show today. And, uh, uh, appreciate you coming on camera, but let me ask you a couple of questions. What what are your intentions with live streaming, or do you have any yet? I, I have little, little itty bitty intentions. I just I like it. I want to do something with it. Um, I don't know that what I do like really, tr- you know translates to it well, or 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 do I want to do that? I feel like I want it to just be more you know more for pleasure. So I don't think I'm going to tie business. Uh, into it, uh, right. I like to talk about mm-hmm. business, you know, just in general and technology. Okay. Um, what I really love is like technology, how um, you know how it affects us uh, for, for better or for worse. There's there's good and bad, and I love to sort of discuss that and, and talk about you know new things that have popped up and did you try this and what do you think of that? I love that, and I like to um, just sort of jump right in and, and sort of get have like real you know discussions with people. Um, and not bother wasting time. I mean, I like to talk about the weather as well as the next person, but I like to kind of, you know, cut to the heart of the matter. Um, so what I decided to uh, come up with a little show and I decided to call it uh, the heart of the matter. Ah, beautiful title. Okay. Yeah. 
So I was inspired by, uh, I saw Jenny Q. She's, I guess, a new, uh, you know, spokesperson, brand ambassador, you know, with uh, b lot, right? Um, I'm a brand ambassador, actually, a brand specialist. Um, so I watched her a couple times, and she interviewed someone, I think, named Je um, Danny. Uh, it's a woman, but, but her name's Danny, uh, something or other. And she's had some hard times, and she just jumped right in. I mean, she was talking about, uh, you know, her husband having an affair and, and giving a baby up for adoption when she was a teen and you know like she was really getting into it like like boom like like zero to sixty in ten seconds you know and and I thought oh wow like that's that's me uh you know and usually I guess that's off putting to people like in person <laughs> when you meet somebody and right away you're kind of you know so tell me about your life. Uh and I tend to do that. And I, I was like well, there's no place for that often. Um, and so, you know, you feel this place. So I thought, wow, oh, suddenly I felt like, oh, wait, this could provide me with a place and with people that might uh, be okay. And everybody keeps saying, just be yourself. Don't even uh -huh. think about it. Just be your absolute utmost self, the most comfortable that you can be. And yeah. um, and there will be some people that will come, but not people, not everyone. And and then you don't want those anyway. So that's the that's basically what I keep hearing over and over Right. Yeah. Well, that's, right. that's fantastic because uh, the heart of the matter, I love the title. And uh, I think you're at this stage of the game, I would say you're probably ahead of most people uh, as far as the mindset goes who are just looking to start in live streaming because you, you just, you already got the hit the nail on the head is just be yourself. Just click the live button and away you go and mm -hmm. it'll, flourish into its own thing right you know, it's, you know. yeah i mean it's, it's it's just do it i mean you say that week of broadcasting five days live just worked so well we were both taken aback by how well it works and how many people yeah. got involved uh so much so that david now will be back in october october one through to five yeah. with slightly different topics but it, back to the your uh show concept i think that will work because shows that actually involve people and go to the heart of the matter uh, are popular. So I just say, just do it. Now, if you have any questions from a technical point of view. Yes, I am sure I will. Yeah. Um, we're happy to, to answer any questions at all um, that you may have. Cool. So, Catherine, where are you located? Uh, I live in Cincinnati. Oh, OK. Right, right, right. I'm from, I'm from New York, so I don't sound like I'm from Cincinnati. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. Oh, did we did we talk once before? Yes. Yes, that's right. I, uh, I um I guess I brought up the bridge. You talked about told this little story about the bridge, and I I, I found that that was that's just right. a very char charming story when you were a kid and going over the bridge. And I did I ask you the question: Is there really a WKRP in Cincinnati? No, no, you did not. No, I'm not from here, so what, I don't know anything about like Cincinnati, like history, or culture. And the funny thing is that I actually named my business uh, Queen City. It's called Queen City Social, and Cincinnati is nicknamed Queen City. And so it kind of sounds like, oh, I must know my my Cincinnati stuff. But I totally. Don't. Oh, okay. I totally don't. I, I'm, you know, I've only been here for seven years, so I'm still like, you know, New York. Uh, right. Stuff, so, so tell everybody can we can you tell us more about your business and, and share what that's all about uh i do i love social media and i'm a brand ambassador uh, brand strategist and, and retail mer merchandiser and i wanted to marry the two so i wanted to and everyone says you know niche 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 right so yeah. i offer uh sort of a more comprehensive uh marketing package that i would be doing all of that for you coming into your retail environment, um, it's, you know, going through that whole thing and assessing, you know, what you have and this is what you should do and these are the improvements and this is how you can have better traffic flow, you know, anything to that will uh, enhance the customer experience, provide a memorable and excellent customer experience. Uh, and then, you know, training your staff on, let's say, product knowledge and sales techniques, as well as the, let's get your social or social house in order and, and go through all the platforms and figure out what's best for them and, you know, establish their personality and help, help, help them find their voice on their platforms and so on. So, yeah, so it's a comprehensive marketing strategy that encompasses social and retail okay. uh, and local events. Uh, you're, 
you're the, you're the go-to guy for that. So I, I can certainly ask for some advice. Uh, you know, like if there was a business that uh, I think like a, a demo day or something like that might be perfect for them, you know, then I would uh, recommend that we do those sorts of things. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what I'm doing. Currently, I have two jobs that are out of the house. I'm a brand uh, ambassador for a, a premium men's underwear company <laughs> called All Tommy right. John. They're called Tommy John. Uh, they're, a, they're a startup, but they've been around for a while. A uh, guy got tired of uh, how his undergarments were uncomfortable in his suits, and he redesigned underwear. So we sell in Nordstrom. I don't know if you guys have Nordstrom. In the UK and Canada, probably. If you do in Canada, actually, you have Nordstrom. Uh, it's a okay. high-end. It's like Bloomingdale's. It's like high-end. Oh, okay. And so I go there twice a week uh, to my local Nordstrom, and I work. I have merchandise, and I sell, and I train. And uh, I also go to Men's Warehouse. That's like sort of a more of an average, you know, rent to tux, get a suit for five hundred dollars as opposed to eight hundred dollars. Yep. And then I'm a florist. I, I work every Saturday at my um, friend's flower shop. Wow. And do it all the time. So uh, that's it. You're busy. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Look, ask Stephen. Am I on? Am I on the live the hub and whatever, like incessantly? Um, yeah, I pretty much spend. I don't bother house cleaning. You know, as you can see, from my I have to get with uh, with Jason. Yeah. What? Yeah, with, with Jason. Is that is those lines the uh, like like the end of where you can see? Do I go off camera? Like there's oh, no, lines here. So, so that's if you were, uh, if I put us in a different mode where we're all three by, like where I'm doing right now. So I want to stay. In there. I hey, want to stay in there. Uh, if, if, if we don't tell you anything, you're doing fine. Well, like the other day, <laughs> Jason held up a, a box to show the box, but you, you totally couldn't see the box. You know, it was completely yep. off camera. So I wrote, you know, move the box in front of your face. <laughs> Because uh, he bought a, it was a new mic uh, he got. So yeah, I've been following Jason because I have to get advice on all that, you know. And uh, my glasses are a total pain. Stephen, yours are great. You can't not see the glare. Uh, so that's uh, something I have to figure out. And I want to be able to look up here. Oh, sorry about my hand. I want to be able to look up at the camera, which is up here. Instead, I'm looking at you fellas, which is down. Well, the the, the, the natural well. thing the natural thing is to actually look. At, I mean, you're actually on the center of the screen, and the natural thing is to look at the center of the screen. And it, it takes time before you actually consciously look at the camera, or unconsciously is probably the best way to do it. Yeah, because I'm looking at you guys. I'm looking at you guys, and then I keep on seeing my player, and I'm like trying to move my head so that it's not. <laughs> Uh, but if no, I take no. them off, it's like I, everything's just really a total blur. So, but there, there's right. me, you know, make, and I'm like, just, you know, maybe I should have called the show like Come Jour. I think, oh, some, I'm sure someone's already taken that name, you know, Come Jour, because I love that line. Just it's, it's a Nirvana song, also. I, I, uh, I don't always look at the camera. Like, I, I, I'm doing it right now because Steven said something. Um, but uh, I tend to look <laughs> at the person. Uh, yeah. Or I think I'm looking at the person, but then it doesn't look like that to you. Yeah. One, one of the one of the, yeah. One of the worst things is when you're on a multi-person show, and you're not talking, and there's a conversation going on, and you're not part of it. And what you tend to do is to just you're tempted to actually go to another tab, and you go to the other tab, and as you're actually looking at the other tab, <laughs> people can tell. Um, yeah, so. I see that. I'm not paying that's attention so to you right now. That's yeah, so that's, funny. That's, or they're, or they're well, doing things and, you know. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the worst thing you can do when you're interviewing somebody is is they're off and they're giving a fulsome answer. And it's an interesting answer. And the audience are wrapped in attention. Yeah. And, you just, and there's this guy going, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I have, a, I have a little bit of a trick for that. Okay. Uh, I'll share. No charge. Yeah. Uh, um, I, I, when I have a, a, a pre-interview or a pre-conversation, whether it's on the phone or however that looks like uh, with any of my guests, and the one thing I always tell them is if it looks like I'm not paying attention, uh -huh. I am listening, I'm doing something else, and it usually means I have them in full screen. Right. Because yeah. then the audience watching doesn't see me not paying attention or looking like I'm not paying attention. 
So I always let my, my guests know that if, if I'm looking away or whatever, it's because I'm producing. I am listening and paying attention, but I have to do something. But again, I have them in full screen so that the viewership doesn't even notice that. It's kind of like when I when I tell Stephen, like, because I, I always forget to turn my umbrella light on. So I put him in full screen, but I go, just a minute, I'll be right back. Yeah, Keep talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nobody knows anything. Well, they're going to know no, now. No, right? no. When but Stephen's in full screen, what is that Burroughs guy up to? <laughs> so I have a I have a large IMAX screen. It's it's huge. Yeah. And the, and the camera is way at the tippy top. And so yeah, I, I would have to look way up. But I should and on just above the um camera at the top of the unit, at the top of the monitor, I have this little candle. Uh, uh -huh. scented Yankee candle. I don't burn it, it, but it's warm as could be because it sits on top of the monitor. So I figured okay. it, it it might emit some sort of nice aroma, uh, harvest uh, something or other there. So, so and I put that there, and then I can sort of focus on that. Uh, that's sort of my ah, spot. Right. Okay. My spot. Yep. Like they say, when you're having a baby, you're supposed to in the labor room. Like, I know you guys probably wouldn't know, but you're supposed no, to pick a spot. This on is the wall probably or easier. Something. You're supposed to look at. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> So you're supposed to pick a spot and look at the spot. Yeah. So. And I'm guessing that you're you're using the microphone that's on your camera. It's built into my iMac. Yeah, yeah just using iMac. Okay. And my. Perfect. Oh, that th doesn't have the beats. Uh, does it say beats on there? I don't. I can't tell. Uh, mm. Oh, these might be uh, skull candy. Uh, we have we have headphones everywhere, all over the house. They're like demos, you know, because he has to refresh the demo units and they, right. you know, he's supposed to destroy them. I mean, we don't sell them or anything, but we use them for personal use. They're all corded. We don't have any of the wireless uh, beats, but I don't care. I don't go to my, the gym. My I don't go to the son gym loves anyway. his beats. Yeah, I mean, I hear they're very expensive, so we're very lucky to have them. Yeah, his mother bought them for him for Christmas. I wasn't buying them that for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, my husband, does, my husband does um, technical merchandising for for okay. tech products, so uh, he does beats and lots of other things. Okay. Well, for those of you just uh, watching, we've uh, been joined here by Catherine Sears Lent, and uh, my friend Stephen Healy is also here, as he always is, to try to keep me in line, but I get carried away. And we're happy to. I'm in a really weird mood today, aren't I, Stephen? I don't know. More than I, normal. I, I'm not saying anything. I couldn't possibly comment. Huh? So here we are. And, oh, yeah. Uh, he's right. like, okay. Did, were you doing karaoke at the weekend? Uh, no. I was watching people do karaoke. Ah, that's that's so, what it is. Actually, yes, that's I did karaoke is. yesterday. Every Sunday, I run a karaoke. So it was yesterday. Um, I don't know why I'm doing that. I just stand because uh, I can, and you can't stop me. Uh, <laughs> if you want to join us here on camera, we're happy to have you join us here. We are broadcasting to your community, and uh, I'm here in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. My friend Stephen Healy in the United Kingdom, and our new friend Catherine, who's in Cincinnati. Um, Catherine, you, um, what got you connected? How did you discover live streaming? Oh yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to mention that actually. Um, it Kim Boltzma from Cup of Content. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, w I started watching her her live streams about just content creation, uh, and then I found, of course, there's RJ. So yeah. need I, need I say more? <laughs> it was all over from there. She's she's just uh, <laughs> like I don't know like firecracker like they just i love her she's so fun and then her and kim together are fun today they were both on with aaron uh and the i forget the girl's name that does uh with aaron on the morning show on aaron's show and they were the guests they have their, their nerdy girls geek out thing and that's i love that like they talk about oh so have you tried asana and you know it's just fun i love i love that sort of thing and it's like yeah. i don't have anyone in my life to to, to say hey have you tried Crello? <laughs> Yeah, or, you know, versus some Canva, or like people wouldn't know what the hell you were talking about, right? Uh, and nor would they care, they would not care. So, so yeah, that's basically it just unfolded from there. Because right after watching a few of RJ's shows, I don't, I mean, not that I don't care about bots because I think it's fab fabulous and fascinating, but I am not on the precipice of getting one for myself at this point. But I was watching anyway, just because she was entertaining, and then I found Jason, and then I found uh. 
live we found you guys and the whole and then uh five days live came mm -hmm. so that was like yeah. crash course timing is and everything I said, I said, is. oh yeah. and then I, i've been chatting with um oh gosh i can't even think of who her, her name maybe it's Teresa, um with the long last like polishy sounding name uh she she's on the comments a lot Teresa. so i think she we reached out to each other and i joined her secret practice group so we're going to be okay. doing some sort of accountability uh practice video practice streaming stuff coming up so that's well, going to be fun yeah, i mean that's that's it a practice group can help you iron out all the kinks and whilst nobody's watching and then when you got comfortable then you can come as yeah. you've done today i mean it's yeah. When you when you announced the the I live here, I lo I love the concept, so I just jumped at that. I'm like, I could walk around my I could walk around with a phone. That'll be my first thing. Uh, and then Linda had her, you know, application to be co-host with her, and I was like, right. oh, I need I need some video now to yeah. include with my application. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna end up making some sort of a show anyway. I might as well just get things set up and get started for that particular endeavor so i've i've made my page now it's pretty much ready uh-huh well feel okay. free to uh is, is is it published yet or uh well yeah it's a facebook page and it's published but um you know I'm, okay. i haven't promoted it or anything like that because i don't have any show or whatever yeah feel free so. to if you want to uh at the end of the show post it in the comments here if you're ready or 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 at a later date if you want to wait that's fine you're, yeah, you're welcome it's, to the, uh, it. it's the heart of the matter you know Okay. I made it easy. Okay. Right. I mean, if you, if you post it in the links, then anybody who watches the show today. And yeah, I don't know how to do that, so I right, can't okay. see that from here. I guess I'd have to open another tab and then. Well, if you if you go on the left hand side of the screen, can you see the two and the ten? Yeah. Okay. Oh. If you if you press see all, yeah. you oh. can see all, see all the comments. Yeah. yeah. Um, cool. And if you after the show, if you add, as David said, if you add your link in there, then you'll probably have at least two likes straight away. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the way cool. it works. I don't, yeah. so, sorry, it's called the heart of the matter, or yeah. yeah. So, because I'm seeing a whole bunch of them. Uh, well, there's a picture of me as the profile. All right. Uh, so. All right. Well, we'll have to. Okay. We'll keep yeah. looking. It's 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 the initials, the actual URL. So it's it's T O oh. uh, T M, I guess. The initials of the heart. Oh, uh, T H T H the heart. Uh, oh. I'm not good at that. T H O T M. Yeah, that, that would be. No, that's not it. Okay. Oh, I want to find it. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> All right, well. Anyway, so uh, see, Stephen, I'll stick to my original date if that works with you for the that's five yep. things. So yep. that's, good it'll be that. fun because it'll be fall here and it'll be lovely. Yeah, I, 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 I'm looking forward to it. I mean, they, they, they just work so well. And uh, because we're talking about places where we live in, then uh, we can talk about them knowledgeably. I'm looking forward to it. I'm just going to remind David that 9 a.m. Tuesday, uh, is the time for Sonia Ontario to uh, be ready? <laughs> Making a note of it. Okay. It's in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, wait, 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 Stephen. This is what we do. Alexa, remind Alexa. me to join Stephen 9 a.m. tomorrow. Okay. I'll remind you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Cool. No excuses now, Stephen. <laughs> Alexa, if I don't show up. <laughs> remind me to remind David to show up <laughs> at eight fifty-five. <laughs> eight fifty-five. Okay, I'll remind you at eight fifty-five p.m. I that's wrong. No, anyway, yeah, we di we digress. We digress. Fun with Alexa. Uh, your list is. Older. My husband got us two two dots, Coco dots. Yeah. Uh, Christmases ago, they're still in the box, so I, we're not we're not Alexa Echo up. We, we have just yell at each other through the house. 
Um, I, I want to set it up, but he, I don't know. I don't know why he bought them if he had no intention of setting up. But I guess, you know, it's husband stuff. Right? Well, my, my uh, greatest use, I'm making use of it tonight because tonight is a roast dinner. And that's chicken with all the trimmings. And, of course, the cooking time for chicken is different from the cooking time for roast paper potatoes which is different for the time for veg so i put the chicken in and i come into the office and i say to alexa set timer 40 minutes and then i know i've got to go and put the potatoes in that's a great use of alexa <laughs> practical i i can't cook though. i'm not a good cook but that sounds yeah. that sounds that sounds like a great idea i don't i don't cook. actually i can I'm use it for all the different live streams that i like to watch indeed yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, for reminders and uh, for playing music as well, because we link it with uh, Amazon Music, then you can quite simply say, I'll not say it. Uh, you can say, Alex, play me the top 20. And, that's yeah, and we're it. Uh, prime subscribers. Yeah, okay, too. yeah. Well, that's it. All right, okay. Uh, this, I've got to get this center screen because Catherine told us that we've got to put it in front of our face. So this, yep, this is the new phone, and uh, it's is that an Samsung. iPhone, Stephen? It's got an ear for Android, burnt right through <laughs> the middle of it. <laughs> just a minute, just a minute. Okay, uh, uh, right, just to prove it. There you are. There's our conversation earlier. All right. Okay. So yeah, new phone. Uh, because uh, I thought, well, if, if Fonz is doing, I live here. And he's going all around Cambridgeshire, and it's only fair that I start trekking around Wiltshire. But I couldn't have done it with my old phone, so hence the new phone. Why couldn't you do it with your old phone? Well, it's it was old. Oh, okay, because it was yeah. an old. Phone. I mean, an old phone is is not just last year's model. This was this was uh, several years out of date. Right. Yeah, because I hadn't got a use for it. I mean, it's this bad. I mean, my phone was my phone was that bad that I stopped taking photos because I didn't want them showing on Instagram. That's the truth. <laughs> because Jennifer, the, had, Jennifer had an old flip phone, Samsung flip phone with the T9 texting. You remember that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, up till, well, about five years ago now. But she didn't want to get rid of it because she said, I don't want to, I don't, I'm not interested in playing games and all that stuff. Guess what she does now? Candy Crush. Anyways. <laughs> right. No said. <laughs> right. right so i hear it well and kelly was saying well maybe david would know well steven you probably would know it's pro it's about a gig an hour yeah is just... roughly my it, it depends if you're using lte or 3g or whatever but if you figure a gig an hour yeah. i mean the, the, we're grateful in the uk that we've still got unlimited plans so on mobile oh, you can get unlimited data and obviously that is a boon um but then again, that's the exception. Um, it does cost because if you only if you only got two gigabits a month, then broadcasting for an hour would use it. Yeah, I have. Uh, Kelly says he has two gig a month. I have twelve, but right. I use it, and it's shared between myself, Jennifer, and Jason. Okay, uh, they're only supposed to use a gig each. Because the purpose of it is for my business. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, I'm doing the remotes and all that stuff. So, right. um, but you just you going back. You broadcast uh, on remote every weekend, if not more. Well, yeah, all the time. And the Sting games are coming. I've let them use it a little more because I haven't been doing the Sting games. So there was differences in in the usage. But now I'm starting that well Wednesday, and then yeah. next month. So then I have to. But I discovered that in my Telus app. I can shut their data off. Ah, power. You have control. It's a, it's a control thing for sure. <laughs> <laughs> right. Catherine, when you when you're planning to go live with your first show, don't give it don't give us a day, just day and time. Oh, um, I've I have to double check to see if it conflicts with anyone else that I really like watching. Uh, I picked Thursday at two, but I have to uh, two Eastern, but I have uh -huh. to check to see if there's anyone else that's doing at that time that's just what works for me oh yeah yeah i mean you i mean we've talked about this before david you, uh, and it is what works for you has got to be taken into consideration it's no use if you try and aim uh, there's no such thing as a bad time there are better times yeah. 
That's my first choice. That's my first choice. Yeah. I w- Stephen's uh, referring to. Uh, so I used to do. My shows were recorded, so I would record them, edit them, put them all out there, nice and everything. I did 330 episodes of that before I decided to go live. I've been live streaming for a long time, but uh, taking my show live was a choice. And the biggest thing that I struggled with for quite some time, Stephen will tell you, was day and time. Because you want to go, well, am I going to get more viewers at nighttime or am I going to get more? But then I got friends in the United Kingdom I want to think about and friends in Australia and I'm trying to, you know, all this stuff. Uh, and what I came down to by the encouragement of my fellow live streamers like Steven and others was go live when it works best for you because the majority of your views come after you're live anyway. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you know, Steven and I and this show have built quite a following and my other show of that's taken a long time, but I can look and go, Oh, I got 150 views after this show. And then later tonight I'll look and I'm up to 500. So, uh, I, I, I was hard convinced. I have to say to go that it didn't matter. It matters if you're wanting live views maybe, but at the end of the day, you really just want people to watch whenever it's, they're going to watch whenever it's convenient for them anyway. True. I mean, that's it. Yeah, true. Seventy percent of the people who watch a live sh- a sh- show actually watch the recorded version. So, uh, as my friend, our friend David Vaughan says, always play for the replay and try and acknowledge the people watching the mm. replay. We used to, when we were on Blab, we go back two years of live mm. broadcasting. There was a program called Blab, and the best time to go live on Blab was three p.m. Eastern, and. Uh, Jonathan had a show that went out Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern, every single day of the week. And he ran it five days a week. He hosted it five days a week. And uh, nobody, as you just said a moment ago, Catherine, you respect other people's slots. So nobody went up against him. Yeah. But two between 2 and 4 o'clock is probably the best time because 2 p.m. Eastern is... 11 a.m. on the West Coast, it's 7 p.m. in the UK. So within those three time zones, you're actually probably maximizing your audience at that time because there's no other way to do it. I mean, we've tried to – we have friends in Adelaide in Australia, and that's Adair and Sione who are in the Belivers group uh, as admins. And you cannot schedule the show between the United States, the UK, and Australia – unless you do it for Adair at two in the morning, yeah? So Adair has more than once got up uh, to be on a show live at two in the morning, uh, but it's very difficult to do. So I would say go West Coast, East Coast, UK. Mm-hmm. UK will reach Europe as well, so two is a good time. Yeah, one of the, the big considerations, actually, I didn't even really think so much about that. I was thinking more like I want to have other people, you know, with me like you guys do have Mm -hmm. people to talk with actually Uh, and um are they available like are they doing a show at that time uh and and what time zone are they are they in like if i wanted to ask you steven like oh would you be my first guest or whatever let's say um you know so i wouldn't pick a time pick a time that you have your regular or normal show although you forget you because you have so many shows so but but uh you get what i'm saying i understand yeah totally Totally. <laughs> and Plus, I like smiling. to watch. I like to watch. Uh, you know, I have my favorites, uh, and I'm st- still discovering. You know, that's one of the nice things too about the the, the live video hub is that, uh, like, sometimes it's like, well, I got a half an hour to kill. Let me see what's on. Kind of like TV. Yeah. And then I try and look through it and see what's on right now or what's about to come up. And sometimes I'll jump into something like weird and random that I would never have chosen, like the medium <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> So, yeah, Jay, Jay yeah. runs an amazing show. Jay, and, Jay. So, and, yeah, I learn about, like, yeah. other things that I would not have. Uh, True. And then for my, for my thing, I thought, gee, you know, I'm enjoying all these random topics. It doesn't really matter what the topic is. I think we want to, like, just dive into the topic. So, yeah. so that's kind of how I came, came up with my, my thing, plus that, that woman, Danny Jay. Well, Catherine, I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with, and uh, I'll be sure to uh, – Try to watch live, but I'll watch live or replay one way or the other. And be sure to uh, you know reach out to Stephen and join his live video hub, 
and uh, you're welcome to join the Video Show Network as well. I do the same do thing, both. not to the scale that Stephen does, but um, do, do do both because yeah. David's got a darn good audience, a darn good loyal audience, and if you go on the TVSN, you will get more viewers and more people watching. And yeah. there is there, there is the thing about this is that there is no limit. This show uh, that David's hosting at the moment is going out on ten different pages. Including oh, the, oh yeah, <laughs> in, in, including the live video, oh, well. <laughs> and that that's the potential. I mean, if you if you, I hint, well, a tip: make friends with everybody who's got a hub. Yeah, <laughs> so <that> you, <laughs> you can then go live on their hubs. Um, for example, Fonz has got a hub. Oh own. yeah, yeah, and Cheryl. Um, who else have we got? I don't know. Well, Linda has got, I guess, a few things going, or yeah. I guess some people have like multiple, multiple shows. RJ has a couple of different irons in the fire. Yeah, it. RJ has got two shows, Tuesday and Thursday, and then the show we do together on Wednesdays at twelve PM Eastern. <sighs> and then she has, and then she has her show with Kim on Fridays. Yep. That's right. Yep. It is a busy place in the live streaming world, and we're past an hour already. Yeah. And I, Stephen, we're going to talk about making a two-hour show. I keep telling you, but well, I, I know, I know. Um, but I've got to go and cook, uh, <laughs> and I've got to go and get ready for my next show. I've actually got somebody reaching out to me to do a test. And uh, Catherine, I want to say thank you so much for joining us thank here today. Thank you so much. Thank and uh, much. my line is wide open. Uh, if can, let's connect on Facebook, all that stuff, and uh, ask oh, yeah, you I, I already did that with you. I I clicked all your click throughs last week oh right yes we did yeah. perfect thank you so much thank you steven uh we're gonna end real quickly any final final yep to, to everybody, yeah to everybody who's watched us today thank you uh to catherine for joining us thank you and we'll see you at the same time 12 p.m eastern next monday and uh that's awesome it. enjoy your day I'll be live later on today, 3.30, on the Show Sarnia page, where i got three guests joining me, uh, one's reaching out to me right now. If you enjoyed the show, give us a 10 in the comments below. If you didn't like the show, do nothing. Um, <laughs> and if you're watching the replay, type replay. That's all time we got for you. Thanks, everybody. Be nice to each other. Bye for now. Bye.